been taking students to Paris for three weeks in January for an LGBT study abroad program. That's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. We'll be spending three weeks in Paris. You'll take one three credit course. We're offering two, so you can choose between a, an IS course, that's interdisciplinary studies, which is called Queer Paris, and then another one, which is a literature course, an LT distribution, which is called uh, Queer Romance. So the Queer Paris um, course is a course designed to make it obvious to American students how being gay, how much being gay is connected to the culture that you live in, because being gay in the United States is one thing, being gay in France is something different. The program is open to absolutely everyone. Um, the people that are coming are likely to be partially, or some of them li are likely to be LGBT minors. Other people uh, will not be. It doesn't matter. Uh, you also don't have to be lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. You can also be straight, heterosexual, anything in between. There is actually a good program for anybody to come to visit Paris. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And to discover um, how different the culture is, even though it's a Western European country, we have a tendency to think that there are a lot of similarities with the US, and there are, but there's a lot of differences too. And because the two cultures are so similar, it's sometimes difficult to see the, differ the differences. The kinds of things that we're going to study that everybody is going to be able to take away with them is how to read another culture, how to know when something's different, and to do all of that without any judgment, not to say uh, the American way is better or the French way is better. There is none of that. They all exist for a particular reason that we're going to discuss and discover. We are housed in a residential establishment in, on the left bank, which is designed specifically for students that are in Paris for a short period of time. Uh, that's also where we'll have our classroom, is in that same, that same building. Um, for things that are outside the classroom, we're going to be visiting um, the gay district or the district where most of gay people in the gay establishments are, uh, can be found. We'll take uh, a walking tour through there. We'll stop in at a few establishments that, are, that have been there for a very long time. We're also going to visit two different gay organizations where the people who are working there can talk to us a little bit about some of their activism and the kinds of things that they do. And then when we go back to the classroom after that, we'll talk about how that kind of activism is similar to and yet different from activism that typically happens in the United States. We're going to take a tour on a, on a boat up and down the Seine. It's a typical uh, tourist boat. It's very big. And as it goes down the Seine, it'll be just after dark. So as it goes down the Seine, the monuments that we pass by will be lit up. One of the things that you'll find in a study abroad program is that you're going to discover a lot of things about yourself. As you examine a different culture, different from your own, and you learn to navigate that culture, you begin to examine why are your reactions, um, which typically a, a person will say, well, this isn't the way I'm used to doing it in the United States or on Long Island. And you'll begin to ask yourself, why is it that I immediately go there? And the obvious answer, of course, is that that's your, what you grew up with. But the next level of questioning is, why is that my instinct? And it, you'll realize that it's not an instinct, it's something you learned. When you return to the United States, and this is something I can promise you, there's very few things I can guarantee you in your lives, I promise you that you will not ever be the same person again. And in a good way, you're going to appreciate your own culture, and you'll know another culture, and you'll see the world differently, and that makes it possible for you to see every new experience differently and at, at a greater depth because you will have understood so much more about yourself. The students that I'd like to see come along in this program are people that are willing to discover other places and other ways of living. Um, this is the, the way that you're going to benefit most from a study abroad. Um, also tolerance about people's uh, individualities and differences. Obviously if we're going to be studying gay and lesbian uh, topics you need to be open to how this uh, exists in the world and uh, uh, willing to ask questions and understand things that perhaps you've been unaware of or the opportunity to find words for the things that you sense or that you've heard about but that you don't quite understand. Any time that people show a curiosity and an intellectual curiosity is just a wonderful thing to be able to feed, it's why I became a professor. Mm -hmm.